great technologies that we're showing here today is our Lumix GH4. From the very beginning, this camera was a favorite of independent filmmakers, but then studio directors started to discover the Lumix GH4, and now it has become a favorite as well. I've got Darren Peppel here with me. Darren, good to see you, man. Well, GH4, you know, originally started out as a consumer platform camera, interchangeable lens, DSLM. We took out the mirrors of an SLR and created an amazing camera for consumers. But then, you know, the commercial industry just started discovering its photographic capabilities and also its video capabilities, and then it really took off. Next thing you know, we're making commercials, we're making TV shows, we're making movies. So uh, we found that, that the light, size, the compactness of the camera, the fact that it was micro four thirds, you could use smaller lenses, made really good use on drones, because you can get them in the air, like uh -huh. we have our DJI. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 right? Yeah, everybody loves a drone. Everybody loves a drone. You know, we, we created Lumix Lounge, a website that allowed people to talk social media-wise, and we got so many ideas what we could do to this camera from the consumers and from the professionals. And ever since then, we continually add those into our R&D cycle and upgrade with firmware every, every time. Big news here, firmware update. Mm -hmm. It's now going to include cinemagraphic anamorphic capabilities, is That's that right? That's correct, yeah. Right, so tell us a bit more about anamorphic. What is it and what is it going to be able to do for us? Well, you're familiar when you go to the movies, you see the nice big wide screen. Uh, we do it at home now. We got the big wide screen TVs, right? Well, in the days past, that, it, that didn't exist. It was square format. So to get people back in the movies, the motion picture industry invented CinemaScope, or a wide format uh, view. But that was kind of falling on deaf ears in recent times with digital cameras because it was hard to do. All those old cinemagraphic lenses simply would not work on a camera system because it was designed for the old square format. Enter the Micro Four Thirds system, it's identical to that old system, matches perfectly to those old lenses, suddenly everybody's excited about something old is new again. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're doing, we're creating that new super wide uh, effect optically in the camera, no digital wizardry. Such cool stuff. Darren, it would have been a pleasure. I appreciate it. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us here You're today. Welcome. Panasonic.